the key to any health tracking device is its accuracy in health tracking so this is what i'm going to put it to the test in this uh, so i've been using this smart ring for about a few days so let's try and put it to the test and compare with other devices and let me tell you guys this is not a lab test or anything it is just a real person after using it for a few days uh, comparing and sharing the accuracy results so let's begin the video so for step tracking and sleep tracking i use the galaxy watch on one hand and smart ring on the other hand and here are the results so here at the end of the day as you can see the samsung watch was showing around 6300 and the good thing is it also shows the timing as to when the steps were taken which accounts for a little more clarity and here on the same day as you can see both smart ring actually recorded a whopping 27,000 steps guys this is like the worst measurement i have seen on any smart device that i have used till date and this was the first day that i was using and just noticed this message which makes absolutely no sense and the app feels really really stupid in this regard and these are the second day results and the galaxy watch is around 80 to 90 percent accurate and both smart ring is nowhere near this which is really disappointing looking at the sleep tracking the easy way to judge the accuracy is looking at the wake time that's how we know that it is doing well so here actually you can see the samsung galaxy watch gives you the timeline and where i was wakeful you can see here that that orange thing and yes in fact i was using mobile at that time when i was not getting sleep and then later on went to sleep and it is reflecting really well so if you look at the boat smart ring sleep tracking for the same day or the night there's absolutely no wake time at all and in fact there is no timeline as such so i would say the sleep tracking is not all that accurate now I'm not saying that the Galaxy Watch is the gold standard here. It is at least around 80 to 90% accurate from what I have seen throughout all these months that I have used. So now let's test the heart rate sensor in the resting mode first and then we will do the workout and find out how the, that goes. So the Galaxy Watch is faster at measuring it and it is showing around 89 and here it is showing around 84 on the smart ring which is not too far. So let's try this one more time and you can see here again they are very close 80 nine and here it is 90 so after a quick workout of five minutes jumping jacks and push-ups the galaxy watch had already been tracking it and uh, let me just measure this right now and here also on the smart ring so here it is showing around 140 plus you can see here and on the smart ring it is only showing like 103 which is i mean not very accurate i would say i mean if you do push-ups and stuff it should be at least around 130 so I repeated the test and you can see it is dropping now as I am recovering and relaxing and if you look at the smart ring it is actually increasing it I mean it should be going down but it is increasing so it is both inconsistent and inaccurate so I also tested the temperature measurement and even these infrared thermal guns they are not 100% accurate I mean there is a margin of error of around uh, some 0.2s or 0.5s in fraction plus or minus so here you can see it is showing around 35.4 and these usually differ from one reading to other to some extent in fractions so now let's check out the measurement on the smart ring so here you can see it is showing around 97.3 now just watch and observe guys the temperature gun is slightly deviating from the readings as you can see which is common and here uh, when I repeated the test on the smart ring, it strangely gives me the same perfect number every time, the 97.3 again. And I repeated one more time and it, it displayed the same magical number. Well, if you can guess it, the same 97.3. I personally recommend you to use either a thermometer or this kind of uh, infrared gun for reference, but definitely not these kind of uh, smart wearables in general for temperature. Now finally moving to the SPO2, a lot of people don't know this. The accuracy of the oximeters or other devices actually decreases with the decrease in blood saturation as well so you can read it clearly so that means even if the fda approved oximeters struggle to actually find the reading uh, below a certain level this is why you shouldn't really take these smart variables in general seriously for conditions like these which are really serious so anyway for your reference i'm just going to show you the readings here just to complete this comparison and here it is showing me around 98 and on the smart ring it is also showing pretty close reading as you can see it is around 97 the ideal way to test this is on a patient who is in such condition however i cannot really arrange that for this video so considering the inaccurate step tracking sleep tracking and to some extent the heart rate sensor 
I wouldn't really recommend this smart ring which costs like 9000 rupees. Instead, you can go with any decent smart band like Xiaomi's or Honor's uh, band or you can go with some Amaze fit fitness watches or if you have the money, you can go with something like a smart watch as well that also give you other things like notifications, display and other stuff. I do not recommend this considering it is so inaccurate. I hope they improve this. So that's been it for this quick video guys. Uh, do not forget to like this video. Also subscribe for more such content. That's been it. I'll see you soon.